Hello everybody, it's Glass Half Dead here, and we have price leaks. But not just price leaks, we have product leaks. And hey, if you're a subscriber, a big double hello to you. If you want to take a double hello in the next video, consider liking, subscribing, dropping a comment. Tell me which of these you're going to buy, or which of these are now too expensive and have priced you personally out of the Kill Team market, because I think that is equally interesting. We now see that we have a new book coming alongside Pariah Nexus. This is very odd. Kill Team Kill Zones. We'll talk about that in a moment. Let's go down this little list we have up here. We are getting three new Kill Zones re-released. They're not new. They're going to be re-releases. Okay, let me just talk about... Let me tell you what these are, then I will tell you my thoughts. The Munitorum hub comes with, if I recall, I think it's uh, four Munitorum crates, which are great. I would thoroughly recommend the Munitorum crates to everybody. It also comes with a crane, a small crane, and a bunch of boxes and scatter terrain. That's, uh, it, it was really good. Uh, the Munitorum hub was originally linked with, I believe that was, it wasn't Death Watch with Drakari, that was the forest. The Munitorum hub was Space Wolves and Orcs. It'll be interesting to see if it's a complete repackage and we no longer get the tactics cards or if they're going to be re-releasing the tactics cards alongside it. We then get Sector Mechanicus. Now Sector Mechanicus is a little bit interesting because that was the stuff that we are now kind of seeing in the starter box. So if you have the starter box, some of the stuff from Sector Mechanicus is going to be identical to what you have there. I can't actually remember exactly what you got in there. I assume it's not exactly the same as the current starter box with Reavers and Tau, Space Green and Tau, but who knows. Anyway, uh, the Mechanicus is the one that I personally am least interested in. And then we have Sector Fronteris. Now that's very exciting because Fronteris is something that I would like to buy again myself. Uh, Fronteris are the riser pattern ruins, which you can buy on their own, but Sex of Fronteris box was the only place where you could get a specific building. And when I built that building, um, I built it as the, as the book told you to do, uh, as just one solid block. That building can be kept as two separate halves, and I think it actually just plays much better if you do that. So Sector Frontier is good stuff. I will buy that one again. Uh, also because I just generally think that uh, that particular type of terrain plays better than, for example, the Sector Imperi... It's just Sector Imperialis. The stuff that came originally in the default kill team starter, so starter box with uh, Admech and Gene Sealer Cops. Cool. We then have Kill Team Pariah Nexus at 125 euros. Now, if my math is correct, that's going to make it 125 pounds. <laughs> oh, my Brexit heart. <laughs> that hurt. Jesus. Okay. Oh, that was painful. All right. Yep. That was that realization for you. Ah, that's okay. So somebody pointed out in my Discord that, that is the same price as the current Kill Team starter box. I feel that you're paying a really big premium here to get new models, right? Uh, the heavy intercessors and the flayed ones and the, is it just a cryptomancer? Maybe it's a technomancer or something, I can't remember. And the lieutenant or captain on the space marine side as well. I feel from what we've seen so far, Pariah Nexus, assuming that the rule book is just the updated sheets for Indomitus box isn't really worth 125, but you know what? Who cares? It's GW. They're going to charge whatever they want to charge and we're just all going to suck them off, I guess. So fine. Uh, but then, then we have Kill Team Kill Zones. Now this is, uh, or, this was already known about back all the way back. Uh, one of my, uh, my peeps in Discord tells me, I think it was all the way back in February of last year. This originally appeared on their shipping manifesto, but it never turned up uh, because around that time we had COVID, everything changed. We then had seven, uh, seventh edition. We then had ninth edition announced and obviously they didn't want to push a Kill Team product when ninth edition was what they wanted all their money from. So now we have Kill Team Kill Zones. We don't know what this is, but this is a new product. 
and, and we don't know what it is. Uh, the general assumption is that it's going to be a summary of all of the kill zones that they had originally released for Kill Team, which will just be uh, every, any time you buy a kill zone, you get I th is it four cards? I think you get four different missions, two being competitive, two being narrative. And some of them having their own tactics per mission. Uh, and, and we assume this is just going to be a collection of all of those. If that's the case, it's going to be a relatively small book. However, here it's 3250. I'm pretty sure that's how much the core manual costs. So I'm, uh, I'm going to buy it because I'm a kill team YouTuber, but that's really expensive for what should be little more than a pamphlet. So with that in mind, I feel kill zones has to be more than just, Hey, these are the kill zone rules that we, that we release, but now you can't get hold of. So what is kill zones? I don't know. Kill zones might also be a proper campaign rule set. I think that's the only other thing that would really make sense as it could really lay out a campaign where you're going through each of the kill zones and it could even say, hey, when you're playing your fourth mission uh, as orcs, make sure to use this and that's where you're getting a, a boss battle or something like that. That would make a lot of sense for a kill zones type book, a bit of a more narrative supplement, maybe. Uh, you know, keeping Pariah Nexus, which we know is very much arena-like, keeping that as the the core rules and the competitive rules and then the kill zones is the additional uh, and fluffy book let's very quickly talk about the kill zone re-releases this is interesting uh i can't remember if they always cost 80 euros that probably sounds about right if i'm honest you get a lot of terrain and these used to be the only place you could get a kill team board now however uh, you could just get, uh, you know, the kill team board has become a default size where you double up two of them to make a full, to make a full 40k board. So you kind of don't need these now. Yeah, you kind of don't need them. So I don't really know what's happening there. I don't know, just like, are, are they as valuable now? It, I, okay. Hey, Glass, I'm new to kill team. Do I need any of this stuff? Good question. The Munitorum Hub, if, if you're new to Kill Team, you're new to 40k, the Munitorum Hub is a really great kit for just how much, uh, like, basic terrain you end up getting. Uh, it, it's, it's blocky and it can be added into any board. So I will fully endorse the Munitorum Hub. I personally don't much care for the Sector Mechanicus terrain. I think it's too high. Um, and if you've got the starter box, you've already got most of it. I'm personally will not be picking up a Sector Mechanicus. Now, Sector Fronteris, I'm all in. I enjoy it. Uh, I, th I think everyone should pick up some Sector Fronteris. Pariah Nexus, obviously, we already know what that is. Um, I'm picking it up because, again, outside of the fact that I kind of have to for my YouTube channel, um, I'm picking that up just because I want the rule book and the board and the terrain. Don't really care about Marines or Necron Flayed ones. So those are like, not for me, but I, I want the rules. I want the board. I want the terrain. Cool. Uh, kill zones. Obviously, I'm picking that up. I suspect I will be heavily disappointed. But I don't know what it is. So I'm kind of excited about it. Is it, if, if it is genuinely just the previous kill zones and they're going to have to have more kill zones. They can't just give us the kill zones that that we already bought because haven't they already done that in the annual? No, they haven't, I think. Um, because if, if it's just that, it wouldn't be 3250. I, I can't, it, it's not that, it wouldn't be that big of a book. It would be the smallest book that's come out for Kill Team yet. I suppose it might be a book the same thickness as the arena book. If anybody remembers how thin that book is, um, which of course came with a whole other product alongside it. So ew. anyway, price leak, 125 euros. Let's say that's 120 pounds. I don't, that's quite a price increase. Wasn't arena 
like 60 or 80 that's like 50 percent more than arena is that the same price as the new war cry catacombs seems really expensive uh yeah again feels like a new model syndrome that we're suffering from on that on that price i'm not happy with that but at the same time it doesn't matter i'm gonna buy it anyway so who cares if i'm not happy if i was genuinely not happy with it i i wouldn't buy it what from this list interests you we haven't been told that we were getting more kill zones this is great news we didn't know we were getting the Kill Team Kill Zones book. We now know the price of Kill Team Pariah Nexus. And now that I'm back at the end of the video, after just recording the introduction where I forgot to say my double hello, if you've made it this far, I'd like to say a big triple hello to you. Thank you very much for making the end of the video. It genuinely helps my channel when people give my videos a full watch. Now you might have noticed, or might not have noticed, that I haven't posted much this last week and a half or so. Don't worry. I have six videos lined up. I just have to record them all. I think they're going to be, you know, a little, little bit light, a little bit fluffy as I go ahead and fill this week out with, you know, top five lists, uh, you know, just kind of fluffy stuff that we might all enjoy. Um, you know, what's wrong with Tyranids, uh, top three factions, top five bottom three factions, you know, all this stuff. So I hope you enjoy that when it comes, hopefully very soon. Anyway. This will be Glass of Dead. I hope you've had a good day. Continue to have a good day. Goodbye.